say, what happened after the fox, after you crashed? What happened was the fox got me in the end. He bit me on the ankle. I ended up having rabies shots, eight rabies shots, and four tetanus shots for a total of 12 shots. It cost a fortune, I'm telling you, thousands of thousands of dollars. But luckily, New York State picks up the bill. Unfortunately, the fox ended up being shot, but he had to be. He would have died a horrible death if the rabies was allowed to continue. The guy was trying to kill me. He was going for my neck. When the video ends, I had tripped here, fallen backwards. Crap! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Get out of here! He's all of my foot. He bit my foot. I kicked him hard. He went flying over there. He came back, and I grabbed a stick. I hit him hard. He went flying over there. I jumped up. I was looking for an axe. This time I knew he'd die. He lay for a couple of seconds. Then he jumped up again and ran all the way, not, with not, me not following him, he just ran off down across the lawn, through the garden, down across the lawn, going <laughs> all the way down here, and he kept on going, running as fast as his little feet could carry him. All the way down here, past this blue table where people were having a spot of lunch. Kept on going. Down here, through the little uh, French paving, over the lawn, over the wall, big jump. And then he went and hid under the back porch here, where he stayed for about half an hour. During which time, since we don't own any guns, we called the farmer who sent his son down with a rifle, a 22. When he showed up, the fox actually jumped out of him in midair, came towards him, bang, shot him, and he died right there.